Hey, my name is Martha Zink and I am with Proofgeist and I created this quick video to show you a couple of techniques for some user experience, some UX. The idea here is how can you have a user select related data pretty easily and how do you show them the right buttons at the right time? So I'm going to start by clicking on the select button to choose the contact that I'm going to relate to this invoice. I get my card window that shows me a list of all my contacts. I can search here if I want to. Uh, but if I just click a name, you'll notice that my select button goes away and now it switches to a pencil to edit uh, or to choose someone else and then an X to go ahead and clear that. So if I click on the X, the name goes away and I'm back to my select button. And similarly, if I click on this pencil, it will then override who the, who the related contact is. So that's the first thing is just showing the right button at the right time. The other thing is what if I searched and couldn't find who I was looking for? I can go in here and click on add new contact. Now this is a really common uh, user problem, which is that they need to create a record somewhere else, but, but in the system, they don't want to necessarily leave where they are in the process to go do that. So I have a slide control here. When I clicked on the add new contact button, it switched to the panel and it gave me the two global fields to put in a first name and a last name. One of the things that's important is to ask yourself, what data do they have to fill in right now at this point? So this table might have other things, addresses, emails, and whatever else they care about for contacts. But at this point for this invoice, maybe those things don't matter. Maybe I can show those at the end of the process to be filled in uh, if it does matter. So I put in my name, click add, and with just a few clicks and a little bit of typing, the user has now created a new contact in the contacts table, and they've associated that contact to the invoice. So there you have it, just a quick video to show you a little bit of UX. Thanks. Mm -hmm.